Knee pain affects people of all ages in a wide variety of activities. It can have many causes, including anatomical variations, muscle weakness, or abnormal mechanics during movement. It can vary in nature and degree. However, there are common denominators to consider when understanding knee pain. Oftentimes, we need to look outside the knee joint itself to find the cause of pain. The hip and the foot play crucial roles in the amount of stress placed upon the knee. The purpose of this video is to give you some insight about common causes of knee pain and key muscles to strengthen in order to decrease demand on the knee. The lower extremity should be in a straight line from foot to knee to hip in order to provide stability and avoid excess stress at any one joint. This is especially important with single leg activities where the body weight is supported on one lower extremity. When the knee is closer to midline than the hip and the foot, it is in the most vulnerable position where it's required to absorb excessive forces, which many times it cannot tolerate. Females tend to naturally be more prone to being in this position due to their wider hips. The femur ends up being more slanted towards midline than in men. This can be changed by increasing strength at the hip and improving the alignment of the lower extremity. The hip abductors have the job of maintaining the pelvis level when standing on one leg. Weak hip abductors lead to a pelvic drop on the opposite side. This leads to the femur being more angled towards the midline placing the knee in a vulnerable position. The foot is made to be a stable base to push off of, as well as an absorber of forces during activity. Excessive pronation at the foot leads to rotation at the tibia, which leads to the knee being more oriented towards the midline. In this way, the medial collapse of the foot also puts the knee in a vulnerable position. Key muscles to strengthen in order to decrease excess force at the knee are the hip abductors and the intrinsic foot muscles. Here are a few exercises that target these. Clams. Lay on your side with your legs bent. Lift the top leg up towards the ceiling. You should feel the muscles on the side of your hip working. Hip sweeps. Lay on your side with the bottom leg bent and the top leg straight. Lift the top leg up towards the ceiling, swing it back and then forward. Toe curls. Put your foot on top of a towel. Use the toes to pull the towel back towards you. Windshield wipers. Put your foot on top of a towel. Keep the heel in the same position the whole time. Use the rest of the foot to pull the towel towards your other foot. Now adding resistance to the windshield wipers. Place the band around your foot so that it pulls your foot outward. Then pull inward. In conclusion, the knee is at the mercy of the hip and the foot. Oftentimes, knee pain is the result of weakness at another joint that leads to poor alignment of the lower extremity. During dynamic activities, it is important to keep in mind the demand that is placed on the knee and to strengthen the surrounding muscles in order to decrease wear and tear on the knee.